In this video we're making crochet shoes for our 15 inch classic Samic dolls. Start off by chaining 10. If you're new to crochet I invite you to check out my learn to crochet for beginners video series on YouTube. It is linked down below in the video description. So we're starting off with our slip knot and then we're going to make a chain with 10 chain stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in the next round we're going to begin in the second chain stitch from the hook and we're making half double crochets into the next eight stitches now. and eight and now we're going to make six half double crochets into the next stitch And then we can pull on our yarn tail to make the stitch a bit smaller. It's been getting a bit, bit big while making those six half double crochets. And then we are going to continue by making one half double crochet each into the next eight stitches. And now we're going to make five half double crochets into the next stitch. And then we're ending the round with a slip stitch. In the next round we're starting off with a chain stitch but first we can cut off the yarn tail. We've been working it into the foot sole here and to the shoe sole quite a bit and it's all secure now. So here's our chain stitch and now we're going to make one half double crochet each into the next eight stitches again.
And now we're going to make two half double crochets each into the next six stitches. So we're making two half double crochets into the same stitch and we repeat that six times. And six. And now we can make one half double crochet each into the next eight stitches. And next we're going to make two half double crochets each into the next five stitches. And then we are ending the round with a slip stitch. In the next round we're starting off with a chain stitch again. And now we're going to make one half double crochet each into the next eight stitches. And now we're going to make two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet into the next stitch and we repeat that six times. So two half double crochets into this stitch and then just one half double crochet into the next one. And again, two half double crochets into this stitch, and then one half double crochet into the next stitch. And this was our third time, so we repeat that three more times, and then we're back to making the sides of this foot shoe sole here. This is the fifth time. And the sixth time, two half double crochets into this stitch, and then one half double crochet into the next one. And now we're going back to making one half double crochet each into the next eight stitches.
And then we're going to make two half double crochets into the first and then one half double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that five times. So two half double crochets into this one and one half double crochet into the next one and two half double crochets into this one and then one half double crochet into the next one and we repeat that five times. So that's our third time. And we are ending the round with a slip stitch and we start off the next round with a chain stitch and in this round we're going to start changing direction upwards and we are only crocheting into the back loops in this round single crochets into every stitch of the round and as you can see I'm not only picking up just the back loop of the stitch but I'm also picking up one loop from the previous round so I'm still working with two loops if you prefer you can just um, use the back stitch here the back loop of your stitches and then we go all the way around with a single crochet into the back loop or the back loop and the loop from the previous round as I'm doing here and I'm going to speed up the footage a little bit because this is all a bit repetitive otherwise. Now we're just going to skip forward a little bit to the last few stitches of the round. Single crochets into the back loops only. And once we're done with that, we can end the round with a slip stitch again. There it is, our slip stitch. And we're starting off the next round with a chain stitch again. And this round we are making half double crochets into every single stitch of the round all the way around. I like these rounds where you just have to do the same thing without having to think about the number of stitches too much. <laughs> Very relaxing. And I'm just going to skip forward to the end of the round in a little bit because it's just the same thing all the way around, half double crochets all the way around. And here we are almost at the end of the round and we can make a slip stitch if we find the stitch. <laughs> There we go. In the next round we're starting off with a chain stitch again and we're making half double crochets all the way around again into every single stitch of the round. And we're just working on making the sides of the shoe a little bit higher. So half double crochets all the way around in this round and I'm going to skip ahead to the end of the round in a little bit again. And here we are again at the end of the round 
making our slip stitch. And in the next round we're starting off with a chain stitch and then we're going to make single crochets into the next seven stitches Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And after that, we're going to make one half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to double crochet two together each nine times. So we're going to start to decrease the width of the shoe here to make a nice little comfy shoe for our dollies. And this was the first time. And now we're going to repeat this eight more times. So we're going to double crochet two stitches together nine times in total and if you want to watch this in more detail the double crochet two together process then you can watch the learn to crochet for beginner series which is linked down below in the video description And now we're going to make one half double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to make single crochets into the next seven stitches six and seven and then we're going to finish the round by making half double crochets into the remaining stitches of the round. And then we end the round with a slip stitch again and start off the next round with a chain stitch. And in this round we're just making single crochets into every single stitch of the round all the way around. This is another one of my favorite rounds here. Just single crochets all the way around. Now I really like the other rounds as well. I really like making dolly shoes. <laughs> and thank you for making this with me right now. I'm just going to skip forward to the end of the round because this is very repetitive here and you know what I'm doing. 
So here we are at the end of the round again. And we can make our slip stitch. In the next round we're going to make the shoe ties. So we are going to chain 35 stitches. We're making 35 chain stitches right now. And then we are going to slip stitch all the way back down to the shoe edge again along the chain and create our first shoe tie. And now we can start working our way back down the chain with slip stitches all the way back down. Another slip stitch and another. And in a, in a little while I'm going to skip ahead back down to the shoe edge once we worked our way back down again with our slip stitches here. In the videos for the 8 and 10 inch doll shoes I didn't skip anything I think so you can watch it there in more detail if you like. So here we are almost back at the shoe edge again and we are going to continue with our slip stitch for the next 25 stitches along the shoe edge here. And then we're going to make another chain of 35 stitches to make the second shoe tie. And here we are. Now I'm just checking if it's all symmetrical and if it's really time <laughs> to make the chain stitches. And yes it is. So we're making 35 chain stitches again. And then we're going to make slip stitches all the way back down to the shoe edge again. And as you can see I just sped up the footage here a little bit. And I'm going to skip forward to when we get back to the shoe edge again. So now we start slip stitching our way back down and I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the shoe edge now. And here we are, almost back at the shoe edge with our slip stitches. And now we just made both shoe ties. Yay! <laughs> and for the rest of the round, we're just going to make slip stitches all the way around until we are back at the beginning. And then we can finish off. Now 
we're almost back at the beginning. Sometimes I make one or two more slip stitches just because I think it looks nice. And then we can cut off the yarn and pull it through the last stitch. And then we're going to take our wool needle and thread the yarn back into the shoe so it can't be seen anymore. And then we have our first shoe done. And here's another one. Thank you so much for making this crochet shoe project with me. I hope your dolly enjoys her new shoes. And if you want to watch all the other shoe patterns, they are linked down below. And the video beginner series is linked down below in the video description as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos. And if you want to support me, head on over to my website and have a look at my patterns. The link for the website is down below in the video description. I'm really grateful to your support. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.